I'm a little disappointed where I'm at right now because, you know, I just want to get more hits. And right now, if a song drop, if it's not a hit, I'm like, damn, why it's not a hit, bro? I used to rap, so yeah, I kept it hot with myself, you know, realized rapping wasn't for me. I decided to just go the route where I just made the beats for the actual rappers, and I just fell in love with it. I watched a lot of YouTubers that used to make beats, and I just, they just made me fall in love with it. I didn't used to watch a lot of TV, I just used to just like music that much. As I said, I used to rap, and that just helped me grow my love for music. Back in quarantine, you know, I was bored, and I was just trying stuff out. And I had the demo version of FL Studio, and I was just making those little, you know, the beats without the melodies, <laughs> just, you know, just going crazy with the. And I said, I like making beats, then I just put it down for another two years, ain't touch it back again. I didn't really know the producers except the YouTube tutorial guys, you know, Snap Beats, uh, Draco Made It, Chambers, and Lucent, Nawes, all them guys that, you know, drop tutorials and stuff. But when I got into the Detroit sound, Gentle Beast and Richie Tuco, they had a like huge influence on my, you know, my sound with Detroit. I like Beast Stars when it comes to sales, cause you know some guys will hit you up, say they get paid Friday, but Beast Stars you just get it right away. You don't have to go through the conversation, you know. As of right now, the playlist with Gentle Beats, uh, that's hard. I got around like twenty-five thousand plays from that one and a few more subscribers than I had on Beastars and a, a lot more sales. Yeah, it's around normal sale, but it helped. I haven't really posted much this month and it's, the playlist has gotten me the same amount of sales I got. Like when I make beats, I take long with it cause you know, I got the pattern down that I'm trying to hear every sign. When I'm working there, like the rappers and producers, they want it right now, so I can't really do as much. But like when I'm by myself, you know, I can really just experiment by myself, try new stuff. But like if you're in the room with the rappers and you try something new and they don't like it, I prefer like the new at home type of vibe. That came along cause like, you know I'm going to school and stuff. Saturdays and Sundays when I used to make beats. And it was Sunday, I had hella chores. I finished making beats for the day. Outside, cut in the lawn, turn on Boss McGill before you blow up. I was just gonna pop my shit. Woodboard G, produced by X9 and Gentle. And I was just hearing the melody, I was like, Hold on, I like how this brass come in. It would sound better if there was a bass. And then I stopped cutting the line immediately. I went upstairs, made that beat, posted it on YouTube, same day. I was like, this actually hard. It didn't blow up as much as I thought it would. It got around like 20,000 on YouTube. So I thought it was just one of those beats that are like above average, but not too crazy. And then I heard someone rap on it. He's, he's not very known, but I heard him rap on it. I was like, this beat got potential. So I think Time Out posted, she need beats for uh, Boss McDilo. First pack. First beat in the pack, I sent it. The name of the beat, Apple Pie, bruh. I sent her a whole paragraph too. I was like, hey, let me send beats. You gonna like this, bruh. I sent her a whole paragraph explaining how she gonna like the beat. She just like, all right, sent to my email. Like, I was begging for a number. So I was like, all right, it's cool. I sent her an email. First beat, she was like, hey, you Dante? Send more beats like Apple Pie. So I sent more beats like that. And now we got that song. I think I sent that in October. They said it was a throwaway and they got in the where they performed it and they pulled it up and it went crazy. Like usually it was just like a side hustle, but now it's probably like something that's gonna always be there in the future for me now. I don't wanna say too much, but like it might be a career option for me. People probably think I'm just a one hit wonder right now. Like, you know, you look at Metro Boomin, their first hit song, they ain't stopped. Like they had like 10, 50. I'm a little disappointed where I'm at right now cause you know, I just wanna get more hits. Right now, if a song drop, if it's not a hit, I'm like, damn, why it's not a hit, bro? Keep, go back, try again, bro, you feel me?